Star Wars 7x7 episode 3089. We're continuing our series of looks at season one of Andor, our final debriefings. And today we're going to talk about Saw Gerrera and a little bit of history before and after the events of the Andor series and also a little bit of conversation about his relationship with Luthen. Punch it! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, Saw Gerrera has played a part in a lot of Star Wars storytelling. The Clone Wars, The Bad Batch, Rebels, Rogue One, novels including Catalyst and Rebel Rising, and now the Andor series. Back in the days of the Clone Wars, he was fighting for the Galactic Republic, but then when the Republic fell and the Empire rose, he didn't want any part of that. And we actually got to see some of that happen in the very first episodes of The Bad Batch, where he talked to the Clone Force 99 folks and said, yeah, you got to make a choice for what you're doing about this. And... Hunter said, yeah, we're not going to kill these guys, and Crosshair ended up taking a team back and killing some stragglers, but Saw Gerrera was already gone by then. That was on the planet Onder, on his home planet. He also had a base on a planet called Rey, W-R-E-A, where we saw him spend time with the young Jin Erso during the events of Rebel Rising. And speaking of Rebel Rising, a couple of things in particular. One of them has to do with the fact that he negotiated with Enfys Nest for the coaxium that she acquired, which we saw during the events of Solo, A Star Wars Story. And more importantly for our information is that during the events of Rebel Rising, there was an incident where Saw's team was supposed to go after an Imperial governor, and instead they there was a festival basically and they just massacred everybody at the festival basically saying that if you were having anything to do with them if you were not actively fighting against the empire then you were for all intents and purposes complicit and you deserve to be in the massacre yeah that's how intense and fanatical Saw Gerrera is about his version of rebellion now, Wikipedia is a little conflicted. There are notes that say citation needed, basically, so the fine folks who are supporting it haven't gotten their hands around it completely yet, but the suggestion that they're working with says that event happened in 6 BBY, as in a year before the events of the Andorra series, and that's... Yeah. If it's going to go any other way, it's going to go backward, as in more towards 7 than it is toward 5 BBY. So, in other words, it happens comparatively recently prior to the events of the Andor series. And at this point, it's probably very likely that Luthen Rail knows it was Saw Gerrera who committed this atrocity. And yet... And yet, Luthen Rail is willing to work with Saw Gerrera. So doesn't that tell you something about Luthen Rail and his level of commitment? I know we talked about the idea that maybe Luthen was somewhere on a spectrum if Mon Mothma was one end of the spectrum and Saw Gerrera was another and that Luthen was maybe somewhere in the middle. Well, he may be, as we've discovered through the course of the series, leaning closer to the, Luth the uh, Saw Gerrera end of the spectrum. And, you know, we talked about the fact that maybe the real thing that Luthen is doing isn't necessarily supporting whole rebel organizations, but he's providing intel and supplies and funding for certain operations, basically. So I guess he can say, like, oh, I didn't support the operation at the Blossom Festival that resulted in all those deaths, so I'm clear I'm just supporting other operations with much more tactical and focused outcomes that aren't necessarily going to end up involving dozens or hundreds of civilian casualties. And by the end of season one of Andor, you can see plainly that Luthen and Saw are engaging in a pact to be more collaborative, more involved with each other. Luthen is letting Saw in the door to a degree in the same way, I guess you could say, that Mon Mothma decided to try and let Tay Colma in the door to a degree. So this puts Saw in a greater position of power as far as various Republican outfits go. Although, 
he is still going to be somewhat limited. According to Luthen, it seems like his organization is flush, and we still don't know what the funding source is for Saw Gerrera's organization, so that's a mystery that's yet to be revealed. But it sounds like Luthen is not that major source. As they have a conversation about Imperial Parts, Saw says, nothing with you is free, so we know that you know there's a very transactional nature to their relationship, and also that... Luthen is not necessarily being charitable with his support of Saw's organization. So knowing that Saw will go to you know exceedingly extreme lengths for his goals and knowing that Luthen seems willing to support some of this maybe, then we might look ahead to 3BBY, which is the second block of episodes in season two of Andor. I don't think they're gonna actually depict this, but it might be fun to know that this is gonna be happening in and around that time. Saw Gerrera actually pulls off the assassination of Panaka, as in the Panaka who was a bodyguard to Padme in The Phantom Menace. But Panaka eventually becomes a moth and is in charge of Naboo, etc., etc. It turns out that Princess Leia Organa and the Naboo Queen at that time, Dalne, are visiting Panaka and just leave before the bomb goes off. So they barely miss getting caught in the assassination. And at first, you know, Brea Organa and Bail Organa are extremely angry about this, but it turns out that it's actually a good thing after all because Panaka recognized Leia and realized who sure she must be the daughter of and was going to tell the emperor this so the bomb actually got him before he was able to reveal that secret to palpatine but whether assassination attempts are the kinds of things that Luthen will support Saw in doing in the future? Uh, that's hard to say for sure. It certainly doesn't seem along the lines of things that Luthen has supported so far, but yeah, maybe their relationship will become even more deeply entangled in season two of Andor, and we'll see Saw bringing Luthen even further along to his side of the spectrum of things. But that's what I've got for you on Saw Gerrera and his history and what will happen subsequently from season one of the Andor series just in the timeline to give a little idea of where Saw is operating at and how that affects Luthen's relationship with him. And that is going to do it for this episode of the podcast. So it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.